He didn't like it. If you made a list of the top five foods people travel to Hilton Head Island for, be a safe bet that seafood is going to be at the top of that list, and some variation of seafood will fill in beyond that, whether it be oysters or something else. Undoubtedly, that might dominate your top five. Yes, there are other great eats on this island, but I'm guessing Mediterranean wouldn't be one of the first types of food you'd be looking for here upon arrival. Hicham El Mani wants to change that. Always my dream to open something small as a Mediterranean. And then when I got to this island, I worked for some big companies here in the island, open uh, big restaurants and... Casablanca Mediterranean Grill just opened at the end of 2020 in the island. Already he is the talk of the town. Why? The reason's pretty simple. Well, people know that it's homemade. You can tell the difference. You know, when you, uh, when you get, let's just example, when you get a salad, and you look at the salad, and you see the fresh tomatoes, it's not soggy, or cucumbers, or onions, or lettuce, or any ingredients. We use a high quality of, of ingredients here, and you can tell that it's freshly cut. It's not being sitting around for a couple of days or so. Stop me if you've heard all this before. I know you have from practically every chef I've ever talked to. No, not all of them can back it up, though. Heacham can. I've witnessed it. I've popped in to visit with him a few times over his first few months, and if you come in early enough, he's in the back, creating, prepping, making everything you will eventually see out here by hand. Make no mistake, he's very proud of that, too. Falafel, falafel, let's say just falafel. Falafel, we use high-quality garbanzo beans first. It's dry, we don't buy the pre dry mix we make it our own and people they get the falafel and we have regulars and we have so many regulars they come almost every day or every other day to get the falafel either wrap or entree i've tried probably half the menu items none of which he says he could pull because it's all been so incredibly popular every single thing i've tried i've loved too any of our items or the grip leaves actually I get a lot of feedbacks from <clears throat> actually Greek people, Lebanese uh, uh, customers that they're telling me it's one of the best uh, uh, grip leaves or the best uh, uh, copita. We use star anise, we use cloves, we use cinnamon sticks, we use all kinds. Just the shawarma has I would say maybe 12 spices and the falafel also has maybe nine spices besides the herbs that we put on, a lot of herbs also and it's vegan, there is, there is no animal products in the falafel, even if you get the wrap, there is no animal products, there is no, uh, 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 it's 100% vegan and people feel good when they eat it. If you're wondering where all this Mediterranean deliciousness came from, Heacham first came to the island about 15 years ago from Atlanta to work at a wellness resort. The appeal was creating menus for people using as many fresh ingredients as you can find and teaching people how to eat healthy and properly. All the while in the back of his mind, for the better part of that decade and a half, he had wanted to open a place like this. Small, no pretense, counter service, freshest food he could possibly offer and the response has been fantastic he says he opened back on november 30th and hasn't had one single bad day of business last month he started opening on sundays for dinner he says he's had a full house three sundays in a row we have a big number of people coming in from bluffton from Ridgeland, coming back the most important part he wanted to stress is his staff for 10 people working with him, and with it being so hard to find employees right now, he stressed how grateful he is for their hard work and their dedication to some pretty darn good eats. Very, very lucky. And my staff, they're really happy to come to work every single day. I don't micromanage them, but they're all old enough to manage everything. They're great. Skip the fried shrimp next time. Stop in and see these guys and gals at Casablanca Mediterranean Grill. You will. He didn't like it.